All right, guys, we're going to go over another Delta Math skill here. Uh, we're going to look at composition of transformations. Uh, this is the rigid motions, and this is particularly the discovery section. So it's going to be a little more forgiving um, than the regular rigid motions. Now, let me just kind of walk you through what we're going to do here. Our goal is to use two transformations to map our original figure onto our new figure now sometimes we have uh we know the original from uh, what we would the original we would call the pre-image onto the new image which we would just call the image so the pre-image and the image or the old figure and the new figure all right um now normally we able to tell those by you know having like a b c and d and then a prime b prime c prime and d prime but notice in this case they just tell us it's figure i onto figure j all right so what we're going to do here is we're going to do two different things and the nice thing about this is they actually let us to let us try it out and then kind of make adjustments as we need to so the first thing we're going to do here is kind of think about how am i going to get this i figure i onto figure j and i think i would do probably a rotation of now notice it doesn't give us positive or negatives but clockwise or counterclockwise so i want this figure i to rotate up here right i want it to rotate up here so um we'll say 90 degrees uh counterclockwise so that seems about right and if we hit try actually we can stop halfway through and it will show us what we did say we say we went 90 degrees clockwise we, we hit try we'd recognize uh that's probably not it so we'll go 90 degrees counterclockwise we hit try that looks pretty good now what are we trying to do well it looks like we're going to try and translate this down four and we're just going to fill in the blanks here translation down four units we'll hit try here and we'll see the two steps together All right and that looks pretty good so we'll submit that and then we'll look at another problem all right so this one uh it doesn't look like i could like i could try rotation here if you wanted to just like we did last time we'll say uh let's try 90 degrees counterclockwise and we could try that out but but notice we're not really facing the right way so i, I think here maybe a reflection would be a better better um, idea and remember going across the y-axis would flip it horizontally so it should look something like that and that looks pretty good and then we'll do a translation um, and then it looks like we're going down, looks like down three units. Now, actually in this one, I could have done my translation first if I wanted to. I could have done my translation down and then my reflection and, and that would have been just fine. So there's my reflection and then my translation. Now there's no penalty for getting these wrong. They'll just give you as many practice attempts as you want under this discover, since it's, um, since it's, listed as discovery so so don't feel afraid to just try okay the big thing here is I, I, I want you to try and see how it goes and and kind of explore uh, without there being a real risk of getting them wrong or losing points or going losing progress all right so um, this is composition of transformations and this is our delta math um, this reviews this delta math skill so you guys should be able to do this on your own